How do you build a rapport with your clients? How do you gain their trust? How do you connect with them? So you can have fun during the shoot and bring out that side of them that they want to see captured. Look at the connection between these two people. It's so beautiful. And the excitement in Vanessa's eyes. That's really, really real right there. So if there was one piece of advice I could give any photographer capturing people, it would have nothing to do with what camera you have in your hand and everything to do with how you see and interact with people. You have to love people, love being with them, love being part of their day, part of their experience. To be able to capture it from the inside. There's so many opportunities to make friends as a photographer. And to get somebody to truly look into your lens with a look of love. You've got to earn that. You've got to make them feel safe. Hold space for them to be vulnerable. Have fun. Bring out their character. If they're feeling flat or deflated, move the energy. Allow them to see what you see in them, the good that you see in them. Mirror them their beauty. Create a space where they feel comfortable to just be themselves. Whatever that means. Show them yourself. Show them your silly side. If that's what it takes. It's learning how to connect with people. Some people want the professional you. Other people want you to relax and be silly with them. And allow them to, to show their silly side. Some people want a space of peace. Others want to be sexy. How do you see a little bit deeper to see the person in front of you and what they need and what they want in that moment? To capture a special connection between two people is an extremely personal and wonderful thing. And it's a privilege to be in somebody's family space. To be trusted to capture their memories and tell their story.
of course, the lighting, the viewpoint, the composition, which lens you've chosen, the depth of field. Of course, all these things are so important, but for me, when photographing people, it's always been my ability to bring them out, to bring out their character. to help them to feel relaxed. Some people it's a very nerve wracking thing to have their photos taken and to help somebody relax could be the most important thing that you do. Sometimes it's taking a step back and just capturing something as it unfolds from a distance and just being in the right place at the right time. And sometimes it's feeling that person's emotions so you can relate to how they're feeling and therefore maneuver the shoot to, to help them to step into that space. Have you got to know the person enough to know what their favourite parts of themselves are? What bits they would like to accentuate? What bits they might like to hide? Take the time to get to know that person. And lastly, when you capture somebody doing what they love you really won't have to try too hard <laughs> just let them fall into their special zone what makes them happy their creative flow and then just capture I'd love you to take a look at my website if you'd like to consider any photography coaching all the details are on my website but I just want to leave you with a question when capturing emotion what do you think is the most important skill you can have and therefore, what is it that you need to practice or develop? <laughs>